Hello and welcome back to Sumo Diecast. My name is Ron. I'm usually not on this side of the camera, but uh, I noticed today that I'm about 10 subscribers away from 300. So uh, I thought I would uh, give you a face to go with the voice, if you would. So uh, I would like to personally thank all of the uh, subscribers that I have to date and also personally invite everyone out there that is not a subscriber to please do. Uh, it's because of all of you that my channel has had the success it has had up to date. Uh, I've only been doing restorations and customs uh, on these cars for about six months or so now and uh, I've had a tremendous amount of success in my own opinion. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to take a moment here as the uh, year 2020 draws to a close to personally thank all of you. And I uh, also just popped out to the uh, mailbox and picked up a little car that's going to be featured in a video coming up uh, as soon as I have a few other things out of the way. It's a little Midge Toy police car. And uh, it may be going to be done up as a fire chief's car to complement the Midge Toy uh, fire engine I did a few videos ago. And also I'm getting ready to start a uh, project. I'm going to build me, myself a uh, mascot for my channel. Uh, if you notice the drawing that I did for the uh, logo, uh, it has a little 63 Nova or 63 Chevy 2 on it as a gasser. And I picked up this little jewel and uh, that's going to become the mascot for my channel. I've uh, printed up some uh, decals for it and I'm going to tear it down. It will probably stay red. Uh, but whatever color it turns out, um, I hope it's something that uh, I can be proud of and all of you will enjoy watching me do. Uh, I'd like to thank also some of the mentors that I have, even though they may not know they're my mentors. Guys like Lee over at Time Rider. I watch all of his videos and have for a long time. Paul at Diecast Graveyard has been very supportive and... Uh, I can always count on a uh, timely tip from my Uncle Polly and uh, look forward to those each and every time. Uh, guys over in the UK, Martin uh, at uh, his Diecast channel and of course Marty. Marty is uh, probably where I first started. I started watching all of his videos and and uh, then I kind of moved into Diecast Graveyard and uh, it's just grown from there. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I was uh, recently asked to join uh, the Diecast Mafia. So I'd like to thank, thank uh, Matchbox Mark and Opa at Opa's Restorations and Customs and 2AHD Cat, I want to get that right one of these days, for inviting me. And uh, I've already cut, got a couple of builds in the can. For those of you that don't know, we have uh, on January 9th, we have a, a build for Law Enforcement Day. And uh, basically take any casting that is not currently a law enforcement vehicle and commission it as a law enforcement vehicle. And we also, uh, that will be on January 9th. On January 15th will be the first build for 2021 for the Diecast Mafia. And in that build, it's uh, station wagons. So you can go out and pick up any station wagon casting and uh, come and build along with us. Uh, like I said, those will be on uh, January 15th. And then looking forward a little bit more, uh, Opa picked 
TV and movie cars for February. So we will be uh, building a TV and movie car. I have uh, two or three options at the moment. Um, haven't settled on which one I'm going to build yet, but uh, I look forward to that and all the future builds coming for the re throughout the rest of the year. So uh, again, I just wanted to take a moment, uh, give you a face to go with the, with the voice. Usually you just see my hands in the videos and quite often more of my hands than I intend. Uh, they uh, tend to get in the way. I get caught up in, in the build and forget, oh, I'm videoing this. So uh, from Diecast, uh, Somo Diecast and the Diecast Mafia, again, I would uh, just really like to uh, tell everybody to stay tuned and uh, when you see the announcements for Diecast Mafia, pick up the casting and uh, join in. We have a lot of fun. I have a, a tremendous amount of fun doing this. Uh, even the frustrating builds are a lot of fun. I have uh, a lot of them. I, right now I'm tending to have about two a week. Uh, that's primarily because I have a lot of them that I have filmed and uh, I trying to clear out the inventory so to speak and start fresh with 2021 and the diecast mafia as well as Somo diecast so again I uh, I hope everybody is having a uh, a tremendous holiday season and uh, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas Happy New Year, and I hope you continue to watch and tell your friends, and hopefully you'll keep uh, continue to like my videos, and for anyone that might uh, have a suggestion for uh, something I could, uh, that you'd like to see me do on the channel, uh, just make a note down in the uh, comment section, and I will happily try to accommodate you. Uh, I tend to build what I like, and what I like are mostly hot rods and customs, and uh, I'm beginning to stretch my legs a little bit and do more of the, I uh, uh, did my first post-apocalyptic build recently, and from what I saw today, uh, Jim Silva will be join, joining with the uh, Three Blind Mice, and he will be handling uh, the uh, post-apocalyptic builds. I already have my 62 Volkswagen, Jim, and uh, so I'm, uh, I got some things cooking in the brain, and uh, I, I think it's going to be a, a fun little build. Uh, it's a very, to me, a very unexpected uh, post-apocalyptic build, a 62 Volkswagen. But uh, I'm an old bug fan. I've owned many of uh, real, real Volkswagens and built many of them. And uh, I look forward to building one or two uh, here in the uh, diecast realm. I also give you a heads up. Uh, I recently did a build that it won't premiere for a while just because of the volume of uh, videos that I have out there already. But. Uh, I did a 1935 Batmobile from a uh, 1936 Auburn Speedster, so you might keep an eye out for that one. And uh, there are going to be some interesting builds, I think. So let's all keep having fun, as uh, Paul at Diecast Graveyard say, says, and as uh, Paul over at Fat Guy Productions always says, be good. And, uh, but, uh, be a little ornery too. According to my wife, I'm very ornery. And, uh, but I enjoy that. So thanks again. And, uh, I uh, look forward to doing all these builds and, uh, getting them out there. And as I always say, I will see you in the next.